Hello everyone, I'll be explaining the problem C. So what does the, the, what does the problem say? Uh, basically in the problem you will be given an integer uh, n and what you need to do is, suppose you are given an integer n. You need to find all the ordered pair a comma b such that a plus b is equal to n. But the twist is that the summation operation is a bit different. So the summation operation is if you have two digits, suppose A and B, and then there is the next digit and then there is the next digit as well. <coughs> when you add them, suppose you get the value as 5. And you have some carry, suppose the carry is 1. So this 1 carry, suppose this is actually 15, the sum is 15 and you, you have the carry as 1. So this carry won't be added to this digit it would be added to this digit. I will show that with the help of an example. <coughs> Suppose you have these two numbers. How will you add them? Basically, uh, 3 plus 7 is 10. You take this one and you add this one here. Not to the next, to the next, to the next. So one will come here. Then you take these 1 and 9. Again, it's a 10 and you will add them you will add the carry here. Then 8 plus 3 plus 1 is 12. You take the carry and you add the carry here as 1. Then 9 plus 2 plus 1 is uh, 12 again. You get 12, basically 12 and this 1 would be carried. So where would it be carried now? You know, since if you carry it here, there are no digits. So you can add some fake digits to zero, suppose. You add this one carry here. Now you add one and five. It's, um, I think you also add a carry here. So it's seven, basically. You add one carry from here, 12. And then finally you have this one. So you will add that. <coughs> so this is how the addition operation works. Okay, so uh, to solve this problem, and in the problem you have to find the number of ordered pair A and B such that their addition was equal to some target value. And if suppose one of the answers was one comma four and another another answer was four comma one, then these two are different. Okay. Now to solve this, we need to first understand what is happening in the um, summation operation. You need to understand that properly. Suppose if you have these two numbers. Okay. Capital A and capital B. And you are adding them. How will you add them? Initially you will take these two digits and you are going to add them together. Suppose uh, the carry is some value C. You get some uh, result. Suppose you get 3 here and you have a carry of 1. Or you can also, if you don't have a carry, you can consider the carry to be 0. So where will that carry go? That carry would basically go to the uh, digit which is 2 places ahead of it. Or one, uh, yeah, 2 places ahead of it. So it would go here. Now you will add these two digits, these two green boxes and uh, their carry, if there is some carry, suppose this value is 16, you have some carry here. Where will this carry go? This carry will go to this digit. Similarly, now when you add, so you have added these two digits, now when you add these two, if you add some carry coming over from the first digit, you will add that. You will, you will mark their sum. Suppose this is uh, 17 or 27, whatever, it can be anything. If you generate a carry, where will that carry go now? It will go to this digit. <coughs> so one thing which you can see that there is no dependency between the blue boxes and the green boxes. Green boxes are connected with themselves and blue boxes are connected with themselves. So, and 
So I, I'll demonstrate this uh, in this example itself. Basically, uh, if if we somehow let's say write these boxes in a different manner. For example, I write this as four boxes: A blue, B blue, and A green and B green. This is let's say zero index one, two, three, and four. So the A blue box would have um, three characters. We would have three. This would have two. This would have so. This would have two, and this would also have two. So A blue will contain the digits at index zero. At the index two, at the index four. Similarly, B blue would contain the digits at index zero to four for the second number. A green would contain the digits one and three, and similarly one. <coughs> Now, what I'll do is basically I'll add A blue and B blue together, these two boxes together. And you know, when I add them, I can follow the normal. Uh, Mathematics addition. Since these blue boxes are technically adjacent to each other, because this is propagating its carry to its adjacent blue box, and this is propagating its carry to its adjacent blue box. So you can simply add them, and after addition, you can construct the answer. I'll show you how can you construct it. Let's look at the answer. Yes, yeah, so this was the answer before. One seven two two zero zero. Now, if I add them in the other technique which I uh, told you about, let's take these two numbers. That's a three. Okay. And I will segregate them into two parts. one is the blue box and another is the uh, green boxes so blue boxes will contain these digits green boxes will contain these digits so a blue would be something like 183 and b blue would be something like 537 let me add them together so be 1 uh, Seven, seven twenty. Now, um, a green and b green. This will be ninety uh, one. This would be twenty nine, and the addition would be zero uh, one and nine one twenty. Now, how do I? Uh, how will I make my answer? how will i get to this answer what i can do is i can stack them together 720 and 120 and my answer would be first this digit then this digit then this digit then this one then this one and then this one why because this zero is basically 3 plus 7 or 3 plus 7 i'm getting from here the next zero is 1 plus 9 One plus nine. I'm getting from here. The next two is eight plus three. Eight plus three, and the carry which I got from three comma seven, which I have got one. Similar, this two would be uh, nine plus two, nine plus two plus the carry it got from here. So nine plus two is eleven, and plus one is twelve. So you get this two here. Then the seven again is. One plus five plus one carry, which came from eight comma three, and this last one is basically this one. <coughs> so now I will basically go go to the solution. So the solution is something like uh, this. What you can do is, given your target value v, break it into even even. Uh, value and 
odd value basically the even value is the value formed by the concatenation of bits at digits at even position and odd values would be the uh, value formed by concatenation of digits at the odd position for example in this case uh, in the case of uh, 19813 and 52397 i would have divided that into two parts uh, 183 and 537 and the second part would be oh sorry uh, this would be the target right so i would divide that into two parts one would be 720 by concatenating bits at the even position second would be 120 basically now i want to form this by two numbers a uh, blue like i said and b blue and i want to form this number by two boxes a green like this or digit boxes and b green suppose there are 20 ways to do this <laughs> to form 120 there would there are actually uh, 121 ways and to form 720 there would be 721 ways i'll show you how it's very simple now since the green and the blue boxes are independent so the answer would be number of ways 1 into number of ways 2 okay now uh, i'll just uh, it would be number of ways 1 in number of ways minus something lambda this lambda is Two, but I'll show you why it comes out to be two. Uh, uh, let's, for example, uh, take your. Uh, let's say the target is forty-seven. So you break that into two part portions, four and seven. You want to find the number of ways to form four by some values a blue and b blue. And you want to find, you know, how can I make four by some A green and B green pair of values. So this is very simple. The first number you can set as zero, one, two, three, till seven, and you will get the corresponding answer as like B would be fixed. If if you fix this digit, the other would be fixed. So it would be seven, six, five, and zero. Similarly here, it would be zero and um, four up till four and zero. So total number of ways would be five. Total number of these ways are eight. <clears throat> so uh, you might be thinking the answer could be five and two eight, but it's not true because they have also said that uh, you know the uh, your answer both of the numbers, the first number and the second number when you add them to get forty seven, the answer should be like both the numbers should not be zero. so we need to just handle that case specifically uh, so if suppose these are your two numbers capital a and capital b and these digits form your a blue you know a blue these digits form your b blue these green at capital a forms your a green and these form your b green now just take the example what will happen if capital a is zero if capital a is zero then both a blue will be zero and a green will also be zero a green will also be zero so basically b blue would be fixed it would be 7 in this case and b green would be 4 so corresponding to this there is only one mapping this is so you would subtract one similarly the opposite case if b capital b was 0 then a would have been 47 so a would have a unique value so you would subtract one for that case as well so it would be w1 into w2 minus 2 i'll show you my uh, code for this as well this this beats the number this forms the first uh, 
the value formed by concatenating the digits at even position and this loop forms the value formed by concatenation of digits at odd position then you find number of ways 1 is this plus 1 number of ways 2 and your answer will be w1 into w2 minus 2 and that's all for this video thank you for watching bye